Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks so much for tuning in to another Addicted Fishing tutorial. Today what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you a secret little bobber fishing trick to help you catch more trout on the river. So if you wanna learn that, it's coming up next. All right, everyone, before we get this video started, if you could do me a huge favor, go down here and smash that thumbs up button. If you like these videos and you want us to continue making them, it helps us a lot if you could smash that thumbs up button. Now let's dive in here. So I'm gonna start with the rod. If you guys have seen a lot of our tutorials, you know that we love Okuma, they're one of our partners, but you could use any rod anywhere between a six to a seven foot ultra light rod. I like to use a smaller, lighter rod because it's just a lot more fun to fight these little teeny fish that a lot of times you're getting on these smaller creeks. Next up everyone, what I did was I used a red and white bobber, just your typical bobber that you've been using since you're a little kid. I wanted to show that you could use this setup with any float that you have in your box, so I went with just your simple red and white float and how these floats work I'll show it again if you haven't seen it they have a wire on the top that you put your line through and then they have a wire on the bottom that you put your line through it's just like that and then if you need to adjust it you just take the one wire off and you can slide it up and down the next thing I did was I attached a barrel swivel so I just tied a barrel swivel onto my braid just below my float and my hope is with that is that I don't lose my float you know if for some reason I get snagged on my leader my leader will break, but I won't lose everything above my leader, my float, and anything else that I might have. So that's why we attach that barrel swivel there. Onto the barrel swivel, I've tied some 12 pound fluorocarbon. And I'm using a little bit heavier fluorocarbon because there's some big fish in here. Sometimes you hook some summer steelhead in some of these creeks that we're fishing. So I use a little bit heavier line. But if you're fishing in a place where you know there's a lot of really, really small trout, Feel free to go down to even two pound, four pound, six pound, whatever you're comfortable with, and you know you can land the fish. The next thing you've got is a split shot. You're gonna wanna adjust based off the water that you're fishing, but any little split shot's gonna work, and all you do is pinch that onto your fluorocarbon leader. And what that's gonna do is help your setup get down into the fish. Last but not least, we've tied a little parachute fly on here, woolly bugger style fly, not quite sure the name of it because I'm not a fly fisherman, but you guys I'm sure will comment down below and let me know what this thing's called. But you can use any fly. And that's the beauty of this setup. You're essentially fishing a fly underneath of a float and you're presenting it to the fish in a super, super natural way. So that's one fly that you can use. But if you open my box here, you can see I got a whole smorgasbord of flies here. So I got just your little rubber grasshopper got a couple other colors of the parachute fly. I got a couple just random little like black and brown like winged bugs. You can see I got like a little yellow, hold on here, let's get that out of the box, dang it. I got like a little yellow nymph style thing. And what I typically do through the day is I'll, I'll run through those. I'll kind of fish what I think's working and just keep switching out my fly till I find something that works. So now let's cast it out here and show you guys how we fish this. Okay, so first things first, you wanna look at your water that you got out here and kind of figure out how the depth is on the water. I'm gonna run this at about two and a half feet to start out, because we've been fishing this hole a lot and we already kind of know where the fish are laying and what depth we need to be. So again, when you cast this setup out, you wanna cast it just slightly up river and let the bait fall down into the hole where you think those fish are at. Cast it up in there, and then keep your line off the water, rod tip up in the air, and just let that float naturally float down the river as it's kind of towing that fly with it. And then as it gets below you, you can flip your bail and just keep letting line out. Just keep letting that setup float down the river. And then what I like to do when I get to the end, because this is one of those parachute floats, is I'll actually stop my line and I'll swing that little fly through the tail out as that bobber is swinging. Because what that fly's doing is that blade is spinning. And a lot of times I'll hook a lot of fish as I'm swinging it through that tail out like that. All right, let's deepen it out just a little bit and then run another one back through there. So if you wanna adjust your float, basically you just take that bottom one off and then you can slide this thing up and down. So I'm gonna go just a little deeper and then you're gonna put it back on the bottom here. Now you're fishing again. 
I'm gonna move this just a little bit away. I'm gonna move that split shot up just a tad away from the fly to let it do its thing and move better in the water. Again, we're gonna cast up river, let it come down in the hole. Keep your line off the water. We had a bite, guys, and I missed him. We had a bite and I missed him. Let's get back in there. Come on, baby. They're not having it, folks. Okay, so two casts there with that parachute fly or whatever the heck it's called, and no dice. So I'm gonna make a switch. I'm gonna go with this little like brown winged looking thing. I'm gonna try this guy, got addicts. That looks like something a trout would eat. I'm not sure where I got these little flies at Attics. I think I picked them up at Walmart, to be honest. But they're pretty slick little rubber imitation flies. They work well. I've caught a lot of fish on them. I know you haven't seen me catch anything today, but I'm just kind of showing you guys my setup here so you can hopefully get out and deploy it on your local creek and catch some fish. All right, we got the little bug, the little bug tied on. Let's deploy. Come on, little cutties. We're searching for little cutthroat trout today, guys. Oh! I missed him, Addicts. Dang it, we had a good bite right there. All right, we, we might have found a pattern. Hopefully they want the brownie. The brown winged creature. Dang it, how'd I miss that? It's such a small fly. Shouldn't have missed that fish, guys. Okay, so we move locations. We're kind of in a little bit louder of a spot here, but if Sean, the camera guy here, if you want to show the foam over there, the foam is home. I've, I've been taught that a lot over the years. Trout and different types of fish, they like to hang out in foam. And you got a bunch of trees and stuff over there. So I have a feeling there's some fish hanging over there that might be wanting to eat some bugs. So we're gonna cast this thing over there and see what happens. And I'm just gonna kind of let that sit and I'm gonna twitch it in there a little bit. Dang it, Addicts, I suck. Oh, did I get him? Well, we're getting bites, we just can't convert, I'm terrible. All right, so as you guys can see, when you cast over into an area like that, again, just like I've been teaching you in these last few videos, it's very important to hold your rod up, keep the line off the water, and then the other important thing is, is actually hook the fish. Not, don't be like me, hashtag don't be Marlon. Fish are over in that foam. I just gotta make the right cast, everyone. Might have messed up our chances, people. Now we're gonna try something a little different, Axe. We're gonna go, I don't know how deep it is over there, so I'm gonna go a little shallower here. And I'm gonna actually move this split shot a little bit closer to this fly and make sure that it's getting down in the strike zone. Let's go back over there again and see what happens. All right, everyone, so there you have it. I want you guys to go out and try this on your local stream. It really, really is effective. A float, a bunch of different flies, a little split shot, just go out, put it to work. You're gonna catch more trout doing it, I promise you. It's really subtle and it works really, really well. Thanks again so much for tuning in. Out there, thank you so much for watching this video. We really appreciate it. If you guys wanna watch more of our content, click this video right here. And if you're brand new to the channel, do not forget, tap that subscribe button. 
turn on that bell notification. And to all of our subscribers out there, we appreciate every single one of you. If you guys wanna be on comment of the day, just make sure you guys are dropping comments, interacting on the videos. Here's today's comment of the day. Thanks again for watching. Hit that thumbs up. We'll see you on the river.